Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Are you looking for a skin tightening facial mask that will help to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines on the skin? Are you looking for a mask that is pretty easy to make at home but is very effective when you use it on the skin? Well, guess what, guys? Today I'm going to share one of my beauty secrets with you that I use to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines that I also use to lift, firm, and tighten my skin. This is is an homemade anti-aging facial mask. In this facial mask, I'm using ingredients that are known to reduce wrinkles and fine lines, boost the collagen production, tighten firm the skin, and also clear the skin of hyperpigmentation. So what I'm going to do for you today, guys, I'm going to share this recipe with you. I'm going to show you how to make this mask, and I'm also going to share tips and how to use it on your skin for best result. So watch me apply this mask and notice I'm going down on my neck anyway guys let's get in the kitchen and start whipping this mask up together so our first ingredient is oatmeal and oatmeal is very absorbing making it a very good for oily skin and also for normal skin what i like about oatmeal is that it also has skin tightening properties that will help to lift and firm the skin oatmeal also have exfoliating properties that will help to get rid of the dull skin it will also help to get rid of the dead skin cells it will seep deep into the pores get rid of the excessive sebums and it will leave the skin just feeling clean and clear so what I'm going to be doing with the oatmeal, I'm going to blend it to a powder. You want to blend the oatmeal thoroughly, getting rid of all the granules. And this is going to take about two to three minutes in your blender. Once this is done, take a look. This is the oatmeal in powder form. Now our next ingredient is green tea and we're using the green tea for its wrinkle fighting properties. I'm going to be using one tea bag of green tea. However, I am not going to brew this green tea. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open the green tea bag, pour it in the blender along with the oatmeal powder and then we are going to blend the two ingredients together now the reason why i go ahead and blend the oatmeal first is because it have a thicker consistency and you really want this to be in powdered form now before we start blending i'm going to reach for some hot water since we're making a green tea oatmeal paste so i'm using two tablespoons of very hot water we're pouring this in the blender give it a little shake and then put this back on the blender and blend for another few minutes now once this is done take a look here we have our green tea and oatmeal blended together now don't go away guys the video is not yet finished we have some other ingredients to add to this facial mask first we're going to take it out of the blender so just scoop it in a small bowl remember to get everything that is um, in the cover so just go ahead and scrape and now this is done what we're gonna do we're gonna take our little spatula and we're gonna basically fluff this up now once this is done we are gonna reach for our next ingredient and our next ingredient is a vitamin A rich oil which is rosehip oil for this recipe you can use your favorite vitamin A oil papaya seed oil cacao oil bachi oil you can even use some squalene oil to replace the rosehip oil so I'm using just a few drops around about a half a teaspoon of the rosehip oil and we're pouring this in the mixture of green tea and oatmeal and next guys we are gonna blend this together and we're gonna blend well now a little of this oil goes a long way guys so be very mindful of the amount of oil you put in this you do not want it to be oily so keep the measurement a half of a teaspoon you can even choose to use some vitamin e oil in this recipe and next we're going to reach for our final ingredient which is some rose water and i'm going to use about a teaspoon or so of the rose water pour this in 
and now we are going to mix rose water is very hydrating now if you do not have rose water you can substitute the rose water with with some lavender water or you can use a little bit of a brewed coffee so now we are mixing and we're mixing well and as you can see the consistency is now what we want it to be now i'm going to store mine in a small container with a tight cover so let me reach for the container and now let's just scoop this mask in the container now this mask guys you can also choose to add some aloe vera gel to it not a lot around about a teaspoon of aloe vera gel it's good and this is also going to help to get rid of spots and blemishes on the skin now once you put this in your jar guys your mask is now ready to use now you're going to keep mixing it and what you want to do you want to make sure to wash your face before you use this mask therefore you're going to apply it to clean skin and it's a thick mask so you really want to just layer it on the skin this is also good for the face the neck and the decollete guys so apply this mask on your skin leave it on for about 30 minutes it's going to dry on the skin then you're going to rinse off and apply your favorite skincare products now this mask can be used two to three times per week for best result guys so go ahead and give this a go if you have sagging neck guys and if you're looking to tighten and firm this is good for you if you have oily skin it's a perfect mask for you if you're looking to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines and boots the collagen production in the skin then here is your mask so go ahead give it a go use it for a couple of weeks or so guys and then come back and leave your comments